Hi there designers, today I will be showing you one way of creating what is called barrier grid animation, or simply scanimation. It's an effect created by moving a stripey transparent overlay across an interlaced image. In my case, it is stripey ampersand created using Blend tool in Illustrator. Now it's not an optical illusion or magic, as many people claim. It's called scanimation for a reason, and like any other animations, it consists of several frames. The way that this works is relatively simple. You have a screen which is composed of vertical black bars with clear spaces between them. The bar width must be multiple of the clear spaces, which will give you the number of available frames. You can pick whatever number of frames you like, but for this example, I will be creating seven. I begin by drawing an ampersand shape that will serve as a spine for my graphic. Then, using rectangle tool, I'm drawing a pattern that my letter will consist of. By selecting both pattern blocks, I am blending them together. And having selected that blend group with my ampersand, I go to Object, Blend, Replace Spine. Eventually, I'm going to print my letter on A4 size paper. So I'm making sure the letter is set to the height of A4 also. After frame one is complete, I copied it and rotated each pattern block of the second frame by 12.8 degrees. I wanted my animation to play in the loop, and keeping in mind that I have seven frames to create, I've divided 90 degrees, which is the full rotation of the square, by seven, the number of frames. Hence the result is 12.8 rounded up. I repeated this action for the remaining frames until I got seven of them completed. Next, I created a four size artboard, numbered each frame, copied them over, and made sure their spines are aligned. Quickly play back to make sure the animation is correct and aligned. Next, I'm creating a transparent screen made of black bars. I'm setting the width of the bar to 0.7 millimeters and the height to fit on A4 sheet. Then, I need six black bars and one to be transparent, which I repeat until the whole A4 sheet is filled. Next, I'm separating black bars from the white ones. I'm doing this by selecting one black bar, then going to select same appearance and grouping them together. I'm going to name it screen, and then I'm doing the same with the white ones too. Let's call them transparent. I'm keeping the transparent ones selected while I go to object, compound path, make. What I'm doing next is choosing one of the ampersand frames and together with a copy of transparent bar layer, making a clipping mask. For the second frame, I'm making a copy of our transparent layer and moving it to 0.7 millimeters right, which is the width of a single bar. Then I'm selecting the next frame together with transparent layer and making a clipping mask. Frame number three, same action. Copying transparent layer, moving it to the right and creating a clipping mask with the next frame. I repeat the same action for the remaining frames, making sure they follow one after another renaming new clipping layers for clarity and giving it a quick test by turning on our screen layer. Currently, my screen layer consists of several bars, so it's worth uniting them in the Pathfinder. One of the final things I'm going to do is I'm going to smoothen the blend effect of my ampersand in blend options. In specify distance dropdown, I set it to zero, and by default, the program will give me a minimum figure available. I've set up a lower number of blending steps at the beginning of this tutorial for a reason of faster processing time. So now, when the whole animation is finished, I can dial up the number of steps for my ampersand to be as smooth as possible. I repeat the same action of blend options for the remaining frames and hit save. I will be printing my finished graphics on A4 paper, so I'm preparing the file for printing as PDF or JPEG, whatever the requirement is. The second thing I need to print is the screen. So I'm exporting it as PDF and sending it to the printer to print on a clear acetate sheet. So here you go, the real typographic magic. Imagine what you can do with it when printing books.